Oscar. On behalf of Captain Grimo and all of his crew, we hope that you enjoyed your sailing on board Armory. We thank you for traveling with Brittany Ferries and look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. We wish you a very nice and safe journey. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a minute out the port and I found gravel already. <laughs> Bonjour, bienvenue de France. Uh, we arrived about eight o'clock this morning. We've already found the boulangerie. We're just about to sit and have a pastry. Not a great night's sleep, but can be expected considering we just had recliner chairs. But we've got 107K today. We're going to Langelay. We're going to weave our way down the coastline inside a forest, I think it is. And then uh, all the way up to Langelay which will be a nice stop. I think we're both going to sleep very well tonight. So not your greatest night of sleep, Pick? I know I've slept, but it doesn't feel like <laughs> No, it wasn't ideal, but it means to an end, wasn't it? It was. We're on the menu this morning. Pain oh, chocolat. We've got two. Oh, yeah. You enjoying riding with someone today, Pete? <laughs> it is nice to have some company. <laughs> someone I can talk to. What a start this is, though. This is ah, It's just what we needed. I've warmed up. Lovely roads. I've had a pan of chocolate. <laughs> so good. So we're about 20k in. The roads are really quiet. We found a nice little coastal road. And the cars that we have seen have been very, very uh, considerate. Lots of space given. And uh, well, this is so much more enjoyable than yesterday. But yesterday was a means to an end. Today the holiday begins. We're off to Morlaix at the minute. So we've reached the halfway point for the day, 54k. So we've done most of the climbing as well. I think we've done 700 of the thousand meters of climbing we had today. It's been a very leisurely cruise after yesterday, although we've just come up a big steep hill. But the road surfaces are amazing. They're so quiet. We haven't seen a car since we left Morlay. It's just been a very, very, leisurely beautiful ride this morning which is just what i needed after yesterday well the peach stamp bought a baguette and he's been promising to buy a baguette so that might happen this afternoon actually i'm disappointed you still haven't bought a baguette yet you've been promising 
baguette and some Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. Oh no, the route is incapacitated. Danger. Work on the bridge. You can take the man out of England, but you can't take England out of the man. No. How many times does this happen in the UK? <laughs> Deviation's going back the other way we've just came though. But let's go on to roads new. It can't be that much further, surely. Route provisioned. After a very French day, we're gonna go for some typical French cuisine. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got about 17k ish to the campsite area. We haven't actually got anything booked, but there are five campsites within a short range of each other around Clangalay. So we're going to see what we can get. Apparently, it's nice and easy. You can just turn up and get yourselves put on there for just a few euros. So we're hoping that's the case. If not, we've got five of them. <laughs> to go and ask at. I'm looking forward to watching you put your tents up. <laughs> it's always enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Because I feel ready now. I see red, I feel blue, but it's all black and white. It's black and white. And in the night, I tend to lose my sight. Site number one. We've, uh, I think we're supposed to be in next door, but it's full with two camper vans. But we can kind of see the sea. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Tuck them in here. Oh, we've literally just raced to get the tents up because it's just started raining. So I've just chucked everything off the bike. I've got to sort everything out now. Ah. Uh, and we'll get sorted for the evening, hopefully <laughs> the rain will pass. Yeah, 107k done. We've got 120 tomorrow to Sambriu. Not as much climbing, so it should be really good. Today was really good. We avoided the rain all day. Pete looked first thing this morning, it said it was going to rain. And uh, we got away with it. But we had a great day on the bike. Uh, not quite sure how I've managed. 162k yesterday and 107k today but although I'm tired and glad I'm off the bike um, I'm surprisingly feeling okay so I just need to rest up now and get some sleep because we didn't really sleep last night um, it was kind of crazy <laughs> Day, Pete. Pretty good. Yeah, it was a good day. Complete opposite to yesterday. <laughs> I had company. We chatted all day. Our necks are going to hurt tomorrow because we were just looking around everywhere, looking at everything. It was a good day. Apart from the rain at the camp, yeah, which we've been looking forward to all day. <laughs> we said with about 15k to go, really looking forward to putting the tents up. And it started to rain as soon as we did. At least it stopped now. Yeah. But we've got no food, no food for tonight. No food. Uh, 
That just means a big breakfast in the morning, doesn't it? We've got some Harry though. I got some jelly beans and some cashews and uh, what's left over from my pan of raisin. <laughs> what? You got leftovers? <laughs> Do you have this? Oh, I got biscuits. Oh yeah, your French biscuits. Well, no food that was until Curiosity had me checking Uber Eats and seeing if they would deliver food to us. A few minutes later, Muhammad Ali was dispatched on his bicycle to deliver some more French cuisine. Only he turned up in his car. But he brought us la KFC. Bon appétit.